What is up, bodyweight exercise fans? In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how combining calisthenics with zone two work during the last almost 13 months, I would say, has helped me boost my metabolism by what feels like at least 10 years and how it's helped me reduce stress, boost my mood, improve sleep and recovery. Now, when you're still in your 20s, especially as a guy, being in shape is mostly about looking good and feeling strong, right? Which I would say are things that are easily accomplishable if you stick to a decent diet and you're consistent with a strength training routine. This was probably the case with me as well, which was great since uh, when I was young, you know, I didn't care so much about cardio or long walks. As a matter of fact, I, I was never a big fan of cardio. Uh, which just seemed too boring compared with my calisthenics routine, which was, I would say, uh, effortlessly enjoyable. As you grow older though, things begin to change. You've got more responsibilities, uh, less free time, uh, more stress. Uh, it's more difficult to get decent sleep. You spend more time being sedentary. And these are all things, of course, uh, in combination, especially that can slow down muscle growth and recovery rates while, uh, you know, making staying and getting lean even more difficult. And although, of course, strength training makes things better, uh, there comes a point when you feel that you need something extra, you know, not only to stay lean, uh, but also to decompress from life's overall pressure. So this is when I started supplementing my calisthenics routines with sprints, I would say around age uh, 32, 33. Uh, sprints are an excellent way to add uh, lower body work into a bodyweight program. They're a great way to work on speed and agility, which are important uh, to maintain as you grow older. They're an excellent way to blow off some steam. Their limitation though is that you can't do them that often since they take a lot of time to recuperate from, especially as you start moving towards your 40s and beyond. Doing two sessions per week combined with a calisthenics routine or any basically strength training routine uh, is great, but adding more than that will take a toll on your recovery eventually. And that was the point when I realized that I had to find a way to reevaluate my thoughts and emotions regarding cardio and uh, to do my best to add at least a little bit of zone two into my weekly training. Even though I wasn't a fan of it, uh, I struggled with being consistent with it. I realized that there is a different way to approach this. This is when I created Cardiosthenics, which is uh, basically a very time efficient hybrid training approach that can help you build muscle and strength while maximizing fat loss and improving cardiovascular endurance. But what I find the most important about it is that again, it's a great way to make cardio enjoyable. Even if like me, you can never uh, be consistent with it. I have a detailed tutorial regarding cardiosthenics, which you can find above and in the top in comment below. But in a nutshell, all you really do is simply go along with your calisthenics routine. But instead of resting between sets, you jog for a few minutes at a very, very slow pace. This way you can maintain your heart rate elevated across your whole workout and therefore turn your strength routine also into a cardiovascular routine. Now, uh, within a month of incorporating cardiosthenics, I started slowly noticing that my sleep was getting better. I was managing stress more effectively. Uh, it became my go-to workout when I had some racing thoughts to calm down. And I even got leaner without uh, making any further nutritional interventions, uh, which I'll talk more about soon in this video. Plus, after about six to seven weeks, as my body uh, got uh, more and more adjusted to the extra uh, training volume, to the extra cardio that I've added, uh, not only did that not get in the way, but uh, it actually started helping me recover faster. And I even noticed that little nagging pains that I was having uh, during that time, specifically some uh, sensitivity with my uh, bicep, you know, something that uh, looked a little bit like bicep tendonitis, even that subsided, which brings me to my next point. The key if you don't want your cardio to impede your strength performance and muscle gains is making sure that you stay in zone two. In simple words, zone two is a pace that you can maintain without running out of breath while also 
uh, holding a casual conversation if you had to. So you're breathing faster you're, and deeper, but at the same time, you are not winded. This is the, the feeling you want to have. If you increase the intensity to the point that you start feeling winded, uh, you're switching basically to zone three, which is usually the zone that most of us think as cardio, especially guys, since for some reason, uh, zone two just feels too easy and too slow for our ego to handle. Uh, we basically have this inner no pain or gain notion that if exercise doesn't feel uncomfortable, it's not doing anything. And uh, as a result, most of us skip over zone two since it feels deceptively easy. Not that zone three is bad for you, but you have to keep in mind that it's a lot more expensive recovery wise. And if you're already incorporating some form of strength training into your week, you know, either that's calisthenics or something else. Uh, and especially if you're uh, including also sprints on top of that, adding zone three will probably stress your body uh, too much, leading to opposite results, especially when it comes to guys over 30 and 40. But if you find a way to handle your ego a little bit better, you know, which is a process, it took me some time to learn to stick in zone two, uh, here are the benefits that you can experience. Number one is that it makes getting and staying lean easier. Of course, you know, having a decent diet in place and uh, making sure you're getting the right amount of calories is something you can't avoid when you want to uh, lose weight, when you want to get rid of fat, when you want to recomposition, uh, when you basically want to look good. But adding some extra movement on top of a proper diet and a strength training routine versus being too restrictive with your caloric intake can make things a lot easier as you get older. There are numerous reasons this happens. And uh, you know one of those is the obvious one that you're moving more, so you're burning a little bit of extra calories. But another big one is how your body handles energy at a cellular level, since zone two is a great way to keep your mitochondria young. So mitochondria are your body's energy factories, since uh, one of their main responsibilities is breaking down glucose from fatty acids, so from fat, into energy, or ATP, if you want to be more technical here. And uh, one of the reasons that it's easier to stay relatively lean without cardio when you're young is because your mitochondria work at their max capacity, breaking down fat as efficiently as possible. Uh, this is something that slowly begins to change after 30. You know, this is when you have also uh, a decrease in skeletal muscle uh, and your mitochondria density and function slowly begins to uh, decrease. You know, this is why your body is less efficient at breaking down fatty acids for energy also known as metabolic flexibility. In other words, uh, exercise is not just about burning those extra calories through extra movement. It's also about maintaining your body's ability to break down fat as efficiently as possible. Still, the good news is that there is a way to reverse all this, to some extent at least, if you find a balanced way to combine strength training with some high intensity training and a moderate amount of zone two training. Small parenthesis here, if you feel that there's no possible way in the universe that you could ever befriend cardio, there is an alternative here. What you can do is you can replace uh, zone two with zone one. I've made a video about this, how to combine strength training with zone one to stay lean. I'll include it above and below, but um, in a nutshell, roughly estimated, a moderate amount of zone two is 150 minutes per week, which translates into 300 minutes of zone one per week, which is about 45 minutes of uh, walking or whatever kind of zone one you're enjoying to do per day. Personally, I love walking and I try to squeeze in as much zone one as possible between my strength training, my zone two training and my uh, high intensity training. But the thing is that zone one can be quite time consuming uh, for most people. And uh, therefore, if you want to be as efficient as possible, zone two, and especially cardiostenics, is the way to go. Benefit number three is that zone two keeps your heart healthy. Everybody knows that, and the way it does that is by uh, having your heart require less pumps to deliver more oxygen and blood throughout your body. 
Benefit number four is how zone two improves work capacity. Uh, over time, it speeds recovery between sets when you're strength training, and it also helps you feel less winded during high intensity uh, related workouts, which can uh, improve your overall uh, work output, both when it comes to strength training and high intensity training. Benefit number five is recovery and injury prevention. And I would even say in some cases, uh, it helps speed up the healing process. Uh, basically zone two is intense enough to increase blood flow, therefore delivering nutrients and removing waste products from uh, the body faster, while at the same time, it's gentle enough so that it doesn't compromise recovery. In other words, it's a great way to promote what is known as active recovery, which in some cases can also speed up the healing of sensitive areas, such as your joints and connective tissues. Zone two is undoubtedly one of the best ways to reduce stress. Uh, it can help you sleep earlier and better and therefore it creates this cycle of you know you're feeling better you're sleeping better and therefore you're also performing mentally better the next day finally i think that there is something to be said as well about that peaceful repetitiveness of cadence and breathing when you're in zone two that allows you to steer your mind a lot easier towards more positive directions towards more um, empowered directions towards more creative thinking. This is why I like to practice such stuff uh, a lot when I'm doing zone two. You know, I like to do uh, visualization techniques uh, or to practice gratefulness. This has been my experience with zone two over the last 13 months. If uh, you've never been a fan of it, I hope that today's video will motivate you to at least give it a try. I highly recommend starting out with cardiosthenics if you uh, find it a struggle to uh, get into cardio i'll include again my tutorial on cardiosthenics below that was all for today if you're interested in training with me you can always come in contact there is a uh, link below where you can um, send me an email if you're new here subscribe bodyweight muscle is a calisthenics approach to fitness uh, to getting strong and lean without going to the gym while keeping things simple, practical, and effective. If you're also interested in uh, me creating a part two of this video where I help you set up this kind of uh, a weekly routine, so a weekly program that combines strength training, um, zone two work, high intensity work, and uh, maybe also a little bit of zone one, let me know and uh, I'll start working on that soon. So. That was all for today again, and I'll next time. Keep on training.